Hey guys, Parfax here. Today I want to bring you a pretty cool and interesting video. So earlier today I was doing my surveys. And for those of you that do your writs and do your surveys, the best part about the surveys is actually refining them into materials and see how many legendaries you get. And I got a significant amount of legendaries and it really prompted me to thinking if I could really turn a profit by turning gold, buying raw materials, and then selling them for gold. See if I can actually turn a profit that way. So what I did was I went out and I spent 507,000 gold on raw materials. The parameters were I wasn't gonna spend any, I wanted to do anything more than 90. I did spend 9150 on a couple. And I started off by taking a lot of screenshots and I was gonna put them all on the screen, but there were so many, I went to a bunch of different traders and I had to buy some from a bunch of different places that I could just put multiple screens worth of screenshots of me buying materials. It took me, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes or so. And without saying the word that's kind of taboo on YouTube, we are going to try to make, invest our gold into something that we might or might not turn a profit. I don't know if any of you guys have tried this before. I've done it in very short bursts. For the first time I did it the other day and I turned a good profit on my first try and I did smaller amounts. I turned a little bit of profit the second time and I didn't turn a profit the third time. So I was like, well, it'd be pretty cool. I think everybody'd be interested in to see if we can make a profit on it. So we're gonna go over here to the cloth making station and you're gonna see that I don't have any materials here that I can refine. Just so you know that I'm not starting with any extra. All of them are actually in my bank right here. So let's back out and we're gonna start pulling them from my bank. So you can see item purchased. We're gonna go kind of quick here. So let's see, we have a bunch of mails. Sorry for the clicking in the background. If you can see, I did buy a couple randoms that were like super cheap that I probably won't even have enough to refine, but I couldn't pass up a really good deal, so I bought them anyway. We're gonna just keep going until we have all the ones that I bought. All right. All right. So we're gonna go here. And you can see we have 11 Ironhide Scraps, almost 2,000 Ancestral Silk. We have 19 Raw Flax, 200 Raw Jute, 249 Raw Scraps, and 3,500 uh, Rubido, and then 11 Superb, and 28 Thick. So I haven't done the numbers, and we'll go over it after we're all done. To see how many we need to make a profit, I'm going to factor in the Guild Tax, I'm gonna factor in, you know, how much it costs. We're gonna see if we turn a profit or not. All right, let's start with something kind of small. Let's just do one here. Oh, look, <laughs> the first the first one we got 10, we get, we get a Druax. And before I go that, we can kind of look at the Druax price. As you can see, I had 34 of them, now I have 35. They're right around 16,000 a piece. So we'll factor that all in the end. And I think Guild takes six or 10%, something like that. So, all right, now that we've got one off of our very first, let's go here, let's do two more. We'll just do two. Oh, and another Druax, this is going so good. I'm gonna make so much money doing this. Oh God, I've refined 30 material, got two Druax. That's pretty insane. Oh, okay, so I'm not gonna lie. What really prompted this was I refined, and I'm not even joking, I think, 1400 material and I got 17 drew wax from it today and I was like if we could ever get to that rate I mean that's just insane profit now any of you that have actually refined it know that it does not come that rate but I have heard people tell me that when you get them you really get them and then you go on spurts now that's kind of here nor there I mean RNG is RNG you know I don't know if anybody ever goes to the casino but sometimes it you know you do just win a lot so maybe that's kind of what I'm on but let's see so we're gonna do the flax. There's no way I get one here, right? No, okay, good. I would have lost my shit if we got that. Do 10 there. Let's go ahead and we'll refine all 200 here of this raw jute. 
We got another Drew Act. Okay, we're up to three. We're gonna do 249 rawhide scraps. We need one more. We did be able to do it 25 times. Give me two more. Ooh, three more. Let's go. That's six. Okay, now we're at six. We're gonna go here. We're not gonna do them all at once. Let's go down to maybe a hundred. Kind of split it in half here. Let's hold it down. So we're at six. Okay, so let's do a hundred. What am I hoping here? I'm hoping if I can get five, I'll be I'll be pretty ecstatic. I think if I, if I can get five, I know it's kind of higher rate than I have been getting, or lower rate than I have been getting. But if I can get five, I think I'm definitely on pace to make some profit. So here we go. <laughs> Nine. That's, that's almost one per hundred. That's insane. I mean, the people typically say that, but in the, when I've done this in the past, it hasn't been that. So we're at 15 so far. And we are not even close to being done yet. Okay, let's do the last 85. There's no way we're getting anywhere near a nine on this one. Three. Okay, that's more. That kind of makes up for the last one. So we were at, what, nine? Let's see where we're at here. I just completely lost track. We started at 34. So what, six is 40. 10, 18. So we're at 18 Drew X. All right, we're definitely not going to do all 300 here. Let's go down. We'll suit 100 at a time. The last one we'll do a little bit more than 100. We'll do the 100 and 1400. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. All right, I'm hoping for at least five. Six, okay, okay, above the curve, above the curve. All right, another 100. Come on, move so we can see it. Six, okay, okay, I'm okay. You know, we'll do the last 400. We'll just kind of do it that way. Another 100. Give me six at least, that'd be good. Stay with the theme here. Okay, yeah, no one cares about your emeralds. I'm getting more Druax than I am emeralds, or diamonds at least. Five, okay, okay. And then the last one. Uh, did we get any? I think it'd be the next screen if we got some. Two, okay, okay. So, I think that's it, right? Yep. So I've refined it all. I will be back with the numbers and tell you what happened. Okay, so I kind of decided to do it a little bit different. Um, we ended up with 37 Drew Wax, and I can show you here. Um, let's go to clothing. So we have 34, that's what I originally started with. And so we have 37 in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my guild trader and I'm gonna go to actually put it up. Now, I would break it down into smaller bits, but just for the sake of the video, we can see how much profit you can make um, from doing this. All right, so I'm in my Immoral Traders here. I'm gonna go to Sell, Druax. Uh, so 578, they would get 40,000. So I would make 30,000 off of it. That's not too bad. For just going around and buying some stuff and that's rng maybe i got a little lucky I man i got a lucky definitely at the start and then it kind of it, it evened out you know i was getting about one for every 175 ish um drew wax per you know raw material i don't know how that is typically you want it's good when it's one for one and a bad you know when it's quite a bit less than that but take the at what you will um, I guess it's 531,000 profit, but you also got to take 5,781 out for my listing fee. So you're looking at about a 25, 24,000 profit. That's not too bad for the little bit amount of time that I've done it, but not something I would say you could do to go out and make some serious cash on. The first time I did it, I bought 100,000 worth and I, I got 160,000 worth. So I actually made more profit on my my hundred thousand investment than I did the five hundred thousand investment, but I still per turn a profit. And to be fair, it's just kind of fun. It's kind of fun to uh, engage in, you know, things that you could turn a big profit or a small profit. Now imagine if you go by the median of what stuff sells for. So like, I bought mine for no more than ninety one um, a piece. Um, there was most of them were selling them for a hundred. A plus 100 I think when you start getting into that range you'll probably find that you're pretty much cutting even 
So if you do it this way, you know, you could possibly make some profit. There's an, there was a big chance I could have, you know, only made 400,000 or I could have made six or 700,000 on it. You know, you don't know. It just depends on how lucky you get. But I imagine if you go by whatever the median price is for your raw material, you're probably going to lose money or break even considering that's what, you know, it's been up for so long that the market kind of dictates the price of it. So even though Drew Wax is pretty expensive, the raw materials has reflected that price. But then again, I made, you know, 25,000 profit on something that was kind of fun and all I did was go out and buy some materials. And that's just saying that, I mean, I got a bunch of raw materials that I could turn around and sell. I got, you know, blue, green, purple materials I could sell. I got trait materials I could sell, you know, or just keep for my own thing. So technically I did make more than 25,000 profit, but Drew Wax sells like hotcakes. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the market tonight and sell it and maybe bring you another video similar to this all right guys thanks for watching uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me attempt to buy something else um, there's a bunch of things in the game right now that you can um, buy for profit or to try to turn a profit um, you know there's a bunch of different like vendor bags and there's a ton of other stuff you can do it on I can do it in another material um, I thought about doing it on um, jewelry making material because that can be pretty profitable as well Maybe some rubidite ore or any type of ore in that manner. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of fun um, and I enjoy doing these type of videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and uh, hope to talk to you soon.